2019 is when I incorporated the company. Uh, we are a digital first brand. That was the first base thing because your your product, your communication, your service, your any approach that you do, your distribution has to marry the why of the brand. Social media today, so Instagram, Facebook, uh, two channels which we used immensely in talking about what the brand is about. I'm just waiting. Indian brands going global. Absolutely. Uh, because. As a from past twelve years, I've seen so many global brands launching in India or globally. And I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting, I'm waiting for, that for the day. Time. I'm waiting for the day when we have this great brand all over the world, all and right. someone tells you know this brand is from India. India. It's going to be. <laughs>
धीरे धीरे ये क्लैरिटी आई कि मार्केटिंग के अम्ब्रेला में पर्सनली uh, मैंने उसको दो में डिवाइड किया एक विच आई से द कॉन्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ इट दैट यू टेल द कस्टमर वाई यू एग्जिस्ट सो आई यू नो दैट्स वन पार्ट ऑफ मार्केटिंग दैट आई डिफाइन विच इज ब्रांड कम्युनिकेशन दैट वी कॉल द अदर पार्ट इवेंचुअली बिकम्स द एक्विजिशन ऑफ न्यू कस्टमर्स राइट वेयर we have performance marketing we have a lot of things now i'm not saying that these two are two different categories in marketing they talk to each other they are merged but for true browns i st- st- put them separately and i said the first piece does not need a lot of money so i should be you know going all out in talking about what the brand is doing content that relates to the customer so we started from there in brand communication um initial days matlab initial days may the first piece was talk about product talk about talk to the customer talk to the woman whose lifestyle is in a certain way the kind so, of a survey you do initially yes yeah. so that's how we started use channels of social media instagram uh, facebook we started our linkedin uh, uh, channel um post that about one and a half years post that um we started with influencer marketing again uh something which did not need a lot of money it was on barter that we are doing and i remember it's a, it's a but we started back in 2020 uh, mid um and us, uh, i remember uh, or 2021 maybe uh 2020 uh, uh, there was this uh, dinner team dinner we were having and uh, we were like um, we have to crack into influencer marketing and believe me neha in like one month's time we were ready to go all out we really used the influencer marketing game very very well for the brand like very very well from influencer marketing we moved to performance marketing so that has been a marketing journey at yeah. an overall level yeah. I, i respect that you you have been authenticated to your brand that this is what our goal is and we would not deviate because i've seen uh, when when we just go in the flow and we just forget about brand story and we just want sales and Absolutely. sales Absolutely it 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 doesn't work yeah. it it definitely doesn't work now yeah um it's very important to have the purpose of why you're doing what you're doing and then stick to it right so also yeah. um uh, that we we always have the story ki jahan customer hai na wahan pe brand dikhna chahiye right so ab bahut sare brands ko realize ho raha hai ki theek hai digital first brands hai but we have to look at the omni channel we have to yeah. look at the store because there are kitne log hai masses india mein right. who are looking for your brand to feel and i mean to touch and feel that brand so uh see wo wo statement galat nahi hai if we look at it ki jahan customer hai wahan brand hona chahiye right agar aapka customer we are a digital first brand agar mera customer digital first hai digital savvy hai agar if that woman is shopping online uh why will i not be talking online right so it's not wrong i mean that statement is not fully uh, incorrect uh but yes the marketing scenario has evolved today over the last 3 4 years uh, where the customer is actually wanting to come closer to the brand and not just have an online experience right so um um uh, there is definitely a shift in a, in the way cons- consumers want the brand to be present and where to be present we as a brand have started taking this initiative of doing events where we interact with our consumers and um, um we you know they can touch and feel our uh, product they can meet the team they can just chat with us and it's a it's a great way of you know even connecting with your customers so traditional i mean i personally don't see as traditional marketing or digital marketing i see it as aapka jahan customer hai aapko hona chahiye wo 100% hona chahiye aur fir aapka customer kya aapse chaah raha hai kya maang raha hai we need to be very very a uh, flexible in doing the changes basis what our customer is saying right so we as a brand we felt that since we were digital we were only online you know we were talking only online and our customers started telling us through comments dms and that you know come here or do that event or we listened to it we did it we are still doing it it's working for us so i personally do not break it into two um there is a brand journey there is a consumer journey marry the two and see what the brand needs to do at that at that particular point of time and be very very fast at it you know don't take like 6 months to turn it around like turn it around in one month as soon as you get an understanding so that's what we are doing i agree so what do you suggest before opening a store offline you, you tested somewhere because i know now your products are available at uh, multiple shop stores 
one yes, yes. places. So you tested it there and then you have a dedicated store. What, what are your suggestions for new marketers and brands that how they should take From a distribution expansion yes. point of view? Yes. Um, see, the best is test and then you know scale. Um, we 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 went to SIS first. Right now we are in Shopstop, Iconic. We have we are in DLF uh, Avenue. Uh, we are launching two more SIS, uh, one in June and one in July. So um, we got great response from the first two three SIS, and then we knew that we need more doors. Right? Today we are looking for a for a full EBO, like a, an exclusive store. Uh, so yes, we tested and then we expanded. Uh, in the same distribution channel and now we're looking to expand our distribution channels and I, I I mean I would suggest that's the way to go test and you know scale you know what's what's working for the brand and it works well nice, nice. like we did a we did a event in um, uh, so we sell internationally as well right through our own brand website uh, that's an online business again we started last year uh, a month back we did an event in Singapore so, which again was a great um, event. I mean, we loved the love that we got from Singapore. Congratulations! Uh, thank you. But again, the same—it's the same thing. Like, keep testing, uh, keep scaling. What's working? Um, and the answers are always there. We need to just and don't burn. <laughs> and don't burn. Yes, <laughs> don't burn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I belong to a Marwari family. Same, we, same. We, I'm a Bansal. <laughs> hardcore Bani. <laughs> Learned from the, them that. You have to have a profitable business. Absolutely. You know, my father uh, has run a business all his life. And uh, in the initial years of True Browns, uh, I remember, you know, you'd call and then you'd, you'd just discuss what's happening. The, I think, you know, there was one persistent question in every call. Ki paise ban rahe, ki nahi ban rahe. So, <laughs> so, sure. so yeah, I've grown up seeing him like that. And then I think he made sure that uh, you're not burning money. So. <laughs> nice. Now, um, I think nowadays the biggest challenge for any marketer, um, I, I, I've been speaking to a lot of marketers and I would like to know from you that you work with so many channels, right? And the attribution becomes a really challenging thing, right? And then choosing which, which channel is giving you the uh, right ROI and where to spend, how to spend. I know it's always A-B testing, but what, what, is, what is your uh, mantra there? Attribution is extremely challenging today. I think this is a, it's a big black hole uh, in the marketing scenario today in India. Uh, it's of, of course improved over the last three four years, right? But um, because there are so many channels. So actually, yeah. kya hua hai? like in last three four years, channels be increase ho gaye, right? Huh. Like we started affiliate a, a year back with Admitad, right? We didn't have affiliate channel uh, before right. that. So, um, uh, retail marketing has increased where you can, you know, push in your product in a different way through like uh, marketplaces. So, channels be increased, ho gai, but just uh, in the same speed, the attribution or the data collection has not become seamless. So, it's a challenge that currently we are also facing. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, there are different mediums in the way Facebook tells data, Google tells data, your own website is telling you data. We try to marry the data together, see the cohesiveness in it, learn from it and then expand in channels where it, it's making sense. Uh, but yes, I it is a challenge uh, uh, today to A, collect data and then have, you know, a sync, synced in data from all channels. Uh, to actually as a marketer take a call you know this is from where I'm getting my customer this is the customer who's uh, liking the brand or this is the customer who's coming to me but going back so challenging hai ye area abhi kaafi challenging hai yeah I, yeah I know we've been facing a lot of brands and I think uh, people are cracking they are taking two three platforms cohesively they are trying to solve yeah. it yeah so the idea is this that if we go only step by step we will yeah. move at a very snail space try it together yeah. and see the results. True, true. Um, you mentioned uh, partnership marketing. Yes. How important is partnership marketing? I know we've been working as a partner for you, uh, generating sales through a lot of coupon, cashback, deal sites to influencers and all. But there are multiple kinds of partnership, even we do with banks and all. So right. What is your take on partnership marketing? How important it is it? It is um, very, very, very important because as a brand, you always need to have um, 
new avenues from where you can get customers right and brand partnerships any kind of partnership uh, actually helps you do that because after a while through your own channel you can only reach to a limited set of customers or reaching to a new set of customers will become more expensive so you need to find um, newer ways to reach out to newer customers because you ultimately your scale will only happen when you a have repeat but also have new customers joining that community so um <clears throat> vc partnerships in a way uh, to a reach out to new customers uh from a strata uh, economic strata point of view as well where we say okay we are reaching to x kind of customers and uh it could be region it could be typography and then we uh, reach out we do collaborations where we can reach to a different set of customers affiliate marketing uh is one of is one part of it brand collaborations is another part of it where today we have um as a brand we are saying okay there are there is a there are great d2c brands today in india um uh, in almost every category and um, this woman that we're talking to she's wearing our clothes she's consuming this uh, particular food she's traveling here she is uh, buying bags from here she is doing footwear from here how as a brand we can actually collaborate with different brands to reach out you know to reach out to each other's customer base so i think um, it's something that is needed it is needed from a brand's perspective it is also something which a consumer wants right if i <clears throat> consume in a particular way i would only want you know those set of brands to be advertised to me i don't want something which is which i'm not consuming to be advertised to me so it works both ways uh, it's a long journey but it's it's a journey which will eventually give results is what i believe yeah i've seen that cross marketing in the west and in india it's coming to two brands having same customer base but they're not competing with each other they can always absolutely and i think you should do it as you know the yeah. industry the 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 everyone will grow in this process yes. and uh, the consumer will be happy by the and end of the day acquisition cost is increasing it's, day it day. is oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's let's not talk about it it's a, and i am i'm i'm just waiting uh, and I've, i'm seeing a lot of indian brands like yourself they're you going singapore and next would be a, another country for you i'm just waiting indian brands going global absolutely uh, because as a from past 12 years i've seen so many global brands launching in india or globally and i'm just waiting i'm just waiting, I'm waiting for, for that for amazing the day. Time. i'm waiting for the day when we have this great brand all over the world and someone tells you know this brand is from india, india. it's going to be <laughs> it's that is that is a win win for all of us yes, yes. okay uh, so what did i have one more thing i know that as a marketer we do uh, branding marketing lot of channels we do but <coughs> entrepreneurial marketing right it is a very very important thing very right? important. as a brand owner how yeah. you uh, yourself make as a personal brand and then you brand your products right. or your company like myself sitting here <laughs> so um, i just i just want to know how how does it work for you and so um i think this is one area where <clears throat> i have to do a lot more work not that i've not done but i would say i've done only 10% of the work that is only 10% is what i've done um this is something that today consumers want you know they want real people they want to see the founder behind the they want to see the the you know who started it and the entrepreneur behind a particular company they want to see the real people behind the brand um so uh, i see entrepreneurial marketing as uh, a something that you know so we are driving a business so that's uh, making that business scale is one part of marketing the real you coming forward so that your customers uh, get Connect. connected to, to you is another sort of marketing and today both are important uh thankfully we have channels to support uh the the two different narrations that a person need to do so linkedin is great for business talking instagram is great for your you know your lifestyle talking or where you are high on creatives um twitter is there when you have an opinion and you want a community to talk about a particular uh, opinion so channels are there uh, they've matured in a very very uh, you know specific way and in a very great way uh, we have to use it i personally i'm telling you i'm not happy with myself in this area <laughs> and i really have to work hard my team keeps telling me that 
you know you need to talk more you need to be you know uh, so i've to, given myself this uh, assignment you know this this project that i have to come out of i'm a very intro i'm a big introvert so i've told myself to come out of it and uh, for our true browns community um and uh, talk about myself talk about the brand talk about a uh, future you know and uh, build that thanks for being so transparent i myself i could not speak in front of 100 people like 10 years back <laughs> yeah. trust me but i think i pushed myself like like you have to push absolutely, yourself absolutely you have to prepare you prepare, have to work yeah, work, yeah. work work so hard, at yeah. some i was same somewhere i've done the journey of being in conferences talking about true browns there but i've not done the other part which is needed and uh, see both of us are doing this <laughs> clearly yeah. there is progress but we have to do a lot more yeah, yeah true uh now talking about we we always have this uh, mentor in our mind right that one <clears throat> person or uh, go to somebody who or we read about them or we inspire with them who is that person for you or who my is- my person from like many 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 years is steve jobs i have been super inspired by him i read his book i remember in 2016 his uh, biography by walter isaacson and i was blown away uh, the way um, he built apple i was i was literally blown away i, I remember i used to read uh, and whoever i was meeting during the day i used to talk about you know this is what he did and you know i was i it just blew it just blew me away what i loved about that book is uh, and about how steve jobs uh, built apple is um he's you know there's this thing in that book he talks about creative thinking so even like he found creativity in everything even something that we might find mundane or we would do it in a mundane way he found creativity he found ways to be creative there as well that actually uh, trickled down to processes uh, in apple to people culture in apple uh, to building the product in apple and to the marketing of apple so very inspiring and um, i've seen uh, i mean i mean all of us might would have seen the way he launched Uh, an iphone right, right. Uh, so uh, my learning from uh, from him is a creative thinking because that is where our human intuitiveness lies primarily right um the more we are closer to our intuitive um talking um the closer we get to our consumers and that comes through creative thinking Such that's nice my thought. that's my take i mean i i just I mean I I I can uh, still feel you know reading that book and uh, it was I mean this is I mean I look up to him yeah I, I remember whenever I read something and I and I really feel that is related to me I, I really get goosebumps yes yes yeah. so that's that's what uh, <laughs> yeah so he was an intuitive person and he trickled it down to his company and uh, yes So uh I think uh, Odita uh, to summarize if you want to give our audience our entrepreneurs our new startups and new marketers uh three advices about marketing <clears throat> which is they have to remember <laughs> what would be um see the first is I mean have your purpose very very clear uh the why of what you're doing just don't do for the heck of doing something like you know let's say consciousness or stabi- stabi- uh, sustainability is on the rise so let me do something you know what you feel from inside like why you want to do it have that that clarity very very uh, clearly uh, in your in your in your being actually not just written down somewhere but you need to feel that particular thing that's one second um i would say uh, maintain consistency in um what you're doing in terms of your brand communication across all the channels that are today available uh, so for true browns as well i feel this this is something that we need to um a get better at because today we have so many channels uh, social media to your website to your you know partnerships to other marketing channels that sometimes the consistency breaks of right. the brand of your brand communication so that is very important uh, uh to have uh thirdly um i mean i can think of only these two right now uh <laughs> a have your purpose very very clear and b um, be consistent 
about your uh, connect with the brand connect with the brand and your your brand communication yeah. across all channels um yeah nice okay so um this is not the end right now because we have some exciting rapid fire questions for you this is <laughs> you have to answer quickly so i'll just open you my... know i can think of now it just struck me a uh, wo karan johar ka kaun sa hai coffee with coffee karan with we karan. have the coffee this is coffee with neha <laughs> thank you so okay first thing when do you, when you start your uh, first thing you do when you start your work day work day or when i just wake up in the morning wake up in the morning my first i meditate oh nice what's the first career you dreamed of having as a kid oh as um i wanted to do something with this the sky and the universe like i like an astronaut oh. i remember i was so um, always amazed by looking at the sky i remember my i remember telling my mom that um you know i want to be an astronaut and go there and see what's up there oh nice <laughs> very different from what i'm currently doing but yeah <laughs> if you will hear mine <laughs> what is it <laughs> i want to be a stunt woman stunt woman yeah. wow <laughs> i want I, i used to see this action movies and i was like somebody's jumping from the plane doing this and that you so want I to do that <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay first fashion collaboration true brands has done um I mean we did a Bollywood collaboration celebrity yeah. with Chitrangda Singh and it Amazing. worked really well for us very very well for us yeah, yeah. it will always be special I think it is it is very important that when you get a celebrity it has to be very connected I mean absolutely yeah. see this is the consistency I was talking about yeah. even your brand ambassador has to be in line with uh the brand right that right. if you didn't have to sleep what would you do with your extra time um i would dance like i love to dance i'm currently training in kathak wow so i would i believe i would spend more time learning practicing doing my riyas oh, nice. if i wasn't yeah <laughs> would love to see that video <laughs> <laughs> i'll share one on one <laughs> best travel destination for fashion inspiration i i'll say france so uh, sorry paris specifically i think people are uh, um very 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 smartly dressed uh, yeah there. and i saw a few months you few months back you did one shoot somewhere in india with some uh, in civil, kerala yeah we were in kerala yeah it so basically we wanted to talk about how the woman true brown's woman is actually very very close to the nature uh, and nature thrives her from within so we picked up this location in kerala where you know there was a, a waterfall there was a river stream and a lot of greenery it was actually a forest i'm forgetting the name of the forest but this is where the bahubali was uh, shot sure. um the the campaign turned out very very beautiful yes. and uh, yeah very close to my heart again we called it malank like we talked we were talking about how this woman is an explorer <laughs> of uh, herself and of the nature uh, so yeah nice nice If you want to collaborate with us as an influencer or a content creator, you can join the become an affiliate link on our website truebrowns.com. Thank you so much Adita for this amazing thank rapid fire questions and the <laughs> podcast uh, and thank you so much everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much.